So a couple days ago, I got a comment on one of my videos asking to do a how-to video of how to record and edit videos in iMovie using a green screen. So I went ahead and ordered myself a green screen. So this video is going to kind of become a uh, review video and a tutorial how-to video on how to uh, record using a green screen. I'll put a link right below this video to uh, this green screen that I ordered on Amazon. It was actually a really affordable price. So I'm hoping that it ends up being good quality. What we got here. So this is a nine by 15 foot green bed sheet, essentially, right? <clears throat> the nice thing is though, I did order the one that came with the clips because I'm gonna use it to, you know, clip overhead to some different things. So let's get this thing set up, shall we? Yeah, this really is just like a big old green tablecloth. All right, obviously we wanna get some of the uh, wrinkles and bumpies out of this. So that's what we're gonna use the clips for. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of just rolling the bottom of the bed sheet down here to get it tight. Looking pretty solid. All right, so we've got our green screen set up right here behind me. It's just on my like PVC pipe rig. And so now is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in iMovie how we would edit this footage, how we would go about removing the green and replacing it with whatever image we wanted behind us. Some key points to remember though, obviously when recording using a green screen, whether you're sitting at a desk or t doing full body uh, video or photos, which we'll probably do in another video, is make sure you're not wearing anything green. Even if it's just like a little like logo or design on your shirt or clothing that's green, because when we go through and remove everything that's green, it's gonna cut out a weird little hole in your clothing, okay? So yeah, make sure you're not wearing anything green. The way to get around uh, using a green screen with green clothing is to use like a blue screen. So you can use other color screens, but for our purposes, we have a green screen, so that means we cannot wear anything green. All right, so now that we got a little bit of green screen footage, let's open it up in iMovie, and I'm gonna show you how to basically edit a green screen video. Editing green screen footage in iMovie is actually really easy and really fast. So let me show you right here. You're gonna open up iMovie, and you're gonna import your footage. So you're gonna import your green screen footage from your camera, and then you're gonna import whatever you want to be your background. So it could be a video, it could be a still image. For my example, I'm just gonna use like a fake news station thing so it looks like I'm you know, talking at a news station. Now this is the key thing to remember in iMovie. You're going to want to drag first the footage that you want to replace the green screen. So like your new background. You're gonna drag that first into the timeline. And then you're going to drag your green screen footage on top of that. Now, obviously, if you're using like a still image, you could like adjust this so it, you know, matches the same size or whatever, but I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to do this. Next, you're going to click on your green screen footage video. So it's selected, it's got the yellow bar around it. Then up here in the corner, you're gonna see this little button that has like two boxes. You can make sure that is selected. And then in this little drop down box right here, there's gonna be an option that says green blue screen. All you're gonna do is click that and boom, magic. Everything that was green is being replaced by whatever's underneath it. So that's why you're seeing this footage right here. Now you'll notice I'm getting like this weird like zoom in thing. That's kind of like a default iMovie does. So to get rid of that for like the background, just click on it, go up here to this little crop button right here and click on it and you can just do like fit or fill or whatever and then just click the blue check mark. Now we're good to go. Now if we were to watch my video, it looks as if I'm reading the news at you know some other funky news station. I'm gonna drag this out so we can watch it for a little bit longer. Here behind me, it's just on my like PVC pipe rig. So see how cool that is, right? And so now it looks like I'm reading the news on some like, I don't know, 
funky like news station or whatever. That's how easy it is to use a green screen in iMovie. Literally, it's a couple clicks of a button. Some tips to get the most out of your green screen footage though. Try to use the best lighting you can. When I see green screen footage that doesn't look natural or it doesn't feel right, it's because the people weren't using the proper lighting for what they were doing. So obviously, if I'm going to be filming like you see here, like pretending that I'm like in a background like at a news station, I'm gonna to wanna to be using a few lights. So I've got like my light stands there, I've got some natural light, I've got the light up on the ceiling. You're gonna to wanna to play with the lighting to make sure that the lighting looks like, looks natural. So when you're recording your video. Because the last thing you want is to not have enough lighting and then when you put in your green screen, it, like, it looks way out of place. You want it to look here as natural as possible. You want it to look as though you were legitimately filming without a green screen. If you can accomplish that, you've done a really, really good job. So there you have it guys. That's how easy it is to use a green screen with iMovie. If you like this video, if you learned something, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know what other types of videos you wanna see. If you leave a comment and it's a video that you want to see on my channel, I'm gonna do my best to go out and make it happen. Don't forget to subscribe guys so you can see some more how-to tutorial videos. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. We'll see you in the next video.